Hello, my name is R. Blank, and I run SYB. Inspired by the life's work of my father, Dr. Martin Blank, one of the world's leading EMF scientists, it's my company's mission to help you shield your body from harmful EMF radiation and make technology safer for you to use and enjoy. Today I'm going to talk about the Internet of Things and its role in 5G. Now a lot of people are worried about 5G, in part because it's so different. It has a bunch of new frequencies that have never been tested for human health. It has a bunch of new technologies to power the infrastructure, again, not tested on human health. So yeah, there are a lot of reasons to be worried about 5G from the perspective of EMF and health. But there's one aspect of 5G in particular that I believe makes 5G a particularly significant risk to our health. And that is the Internet of Things, or IoT. The Internet of Things refers to the billions of devices, objects, and appliances that connect to the internet using wireless networks. Everything was smart in the name, like smart locks, smart cars, and smart refrigerators, to name just a few examples. These devices collect and transmit your behavior. They then send the collected data to their parent company for AI and machine learning to analyze and make custom enhancements for you. You may have seen this in action with smart refrigerators. These refrigerators scan the products inside your fridge and send you a notification to your phone whenever a certain product is about to expire or run out. Many IoT devices, like smart refrigerators, have already hit the market. And with the massive 5G rollout, more, many, many more, are on the way. And that's the problem. In fact, that's the biggest risk to your health from 5G. All of these networks and devices produce EMF radiation. Tech companies try to tell us this is completely safe but thousands of peer-reviewed scientific research studies indicate otherwise. These studies say that the amount of EMF we face daily from our devices is harmful to our health. In fact, they say the amount of EMF we're exposed to just from our own phone, one single source, increases our health risks. Now, a lot of people think of 5G as a new cell phone network. And it's true, 5G is a cell phone network. But 5G is so much more because 5G was built from the ground up to support the Internet of Things. Why do we need a new network to support IoT? Because with the Internet of Things, there is going to be a multiple order of magnitude leap in the number of sources of EMF in our environments. And all of those devices need to communicate wirelessly. So we need wireless networks to support an exploding number of devices. In other words, the network needs much more capacity to support IoT. And that's what 5G is trying to bring to the table. And with the explosion of IoT devices, that means a corresponding explosion in your exposures. Let's take one example of what I'm talking about. Wi-Fi. When Wi-Fi first came out, your Wi-Fi network was probably the only one you were exposed to. Then over time, more people got them. So you started to see more of these networks from your neighbors. Then people started buying smart TVs and smart speakers and tablets and iPods. And suddenly it went from you being exposed to one or two sources of Wi-Fi radiation to being exposed to dozens, or if you live in an apartment building, hundreds of sources of simultaneous exposures. With IoT, more and more devices and appliances will be smart, which means they will become sources of new EMF exposures and it will be everywhere you go. Now, I wanna make it absolutely clear. Technology has enabled massive leaps in productivity, mobility, and quality of life. But there is also a cost to your health in the form of increased exposure to EMF radiation. It's already challenging for people to escape heavy EMF exposure. By some estimates, the ambient levels of EMF in cities are now one trillion times higher than those found in nature. And with IoT supported by 5G, that number will grow. A lot. And quickly. So what can you do? Well, there's one thing you can and should do, starting right now. And that is to resist the urge to buy fancy new smart technology. Do you really need your refrigerator to be smart and email you your shopping list? We've gotten along well enough with good old dumb fridges for decades. Do you really need your mirror to be smart? Or your kitty litter box? Or your toothbrush? Or your tampon? Yes, there really is a company marketing a smart tampon. Now look, 
Sometimes a smart device may add real value to your life. For instance, a smart alarm system or baby monitor may allow you to keep tabs of your home or your baby or your pet while you're out. And maybe that is worth it to you. But when buying things that have smart options, really consider if it's something you actually need to be smart. A device where being smart actually adds value to your life. Or if a traditional dumb version may suit you just fine. Because the fewer smart devices you buy that join in the internet of things, the lower your EMF exposure will be. That will be good for your health and your family's health. And you'll also save some money. And when more and more people start doing the same thing, that means this tech will roll out more slowly. And the 5G rollout will be slowed down as well. All this adds up to having less EMF in our environment. And that will be good for everybody's health. Remember, we are just at the very beginning of the 5G rollout. And the best thing you can do to protect yourself from its effects is to avoid IoT products and smart tech. For more information on the best ways to protect yourself from EMF radiation for free, you can download my free guide at shieldyourbody.com. Thank you very much.